YouTube, what's going on? Your boy Yellow.Alex here once again. I'll bring you a little update video for Madden. Um, I want to update you guys. Uh, actually, went ahead and did a budget squad. Um, I'll get into that. Uh, what I kind of did was uh, I went through all my cards, sold all my big cards. That's why my coins are up to. I'm actually waiting for a couple more to sell. Once I do sell, my coins are going to be at about 700, 750K, which isn't that great. But it's good. Um, I went ahead and bought a brand new budget squad. What I did with my budget squad was. Uh, I, I couldn't spend any more than 7,500 on a card. 7,500 coins is the most I could spend on any card. That's what I did. Now, there were some a few spots <clears throat> with my lineup, which I will show you after I do open these three uh, promo, my free promo packs. Um, a couple of cards, like the free elites I got from Journey Solos. I kind of counted those as no value. Like, I, there's a few cards you guys will see them. I'll get into it. But uh, if you guys think that I shouldn't play those cards, go ahead and let me know. Put a comment down below in the the area section down there below my twitter stuff my twitch channel all that stuff all info will be there if you guys want to follow that as well but yeah go ahead and leave a comment letting me know if you guys want me to kind of change that idea to get rid of the uh cards that are worth a lot but that don't cost anything because i got them for free or if i should keep them in go ahead and let me know but we're gonna get in these three free promo packs real quick here guys and go ahead and uh, let me know also if you guys have been doing any budget and we get started with charles Tillman, so that's probably all we're gonna get out of this card yeah, let me know if you guys have uh, <clears throat> attempted building your own budget squad yet. Um, the only reason why I did is because at the time of this recording, um, there are going to be uh, the new Road to the Playoffs cards. All the new content is going to be dropping within the next day or two, I would say. So a lot of the like base cards that I got, and we get a James Starks base gold. Come on, man. But yeah, a lot of like, the base elite content that's in the game, all those prices are probably going to drop unless, they, unless they're going to completely pull them out of packs. Which will make them rarer, which means that I sold them at the wrong time. I'm going to lose coin, but I don't know. We will see. And that's all we're going to get out of that. That Cutter X looks pretty cool on the bike. But yeah, that's why I kind of sold those. Went ahead and threw together a budget squad to see what they would do. I haven't played with them yet. I just actually just finished building that squad. And we're going to end up with a... Oh, my God. These three packs. Like EA, e e just no, get, get that out of here. Get that out of here. All right, but anyway, guys, that, uh, that was horrid. But I'm gonna show you the squad I got here, my my budget squad. Um, it's pretty much set, unless, like I said, you guys don't want to see some of those cards that are really expensive, but aren't, but to me are worthless because I can't sell them because I got them for free out of the journey solos. But yeah, we got Joe Staley here at left tackle starting things off. Um, this card is pretty solid all the way around. Looking at his run block pass back 92 and 88. That's what I mainly look at for my linemen. Um, we got uh, Belichi Asamele. Not a bad looking card. I think it's definitely better than Logan Mankins. I was running with Logan Mankins like towards the beginning of the year, but his pass block and his impact block were terrible in my opinion. Yeah, Asamele is. Uh, I, I, I don't I think I might be butchering that name actually. His awareness isn't that good, but I think the rest of his stats make up to it. Ryan Cleal, he's been on the squad since day one. Um, I love this card. He's 95 run block. Pass block isn't quite there, but he's got good strength, good impact block. This card has not let me down yet. And this is what I was getting into. TJ Lang is one of those cards I got for free from the Journey Solos out of the Elite, the one player Elite packs. I think there were, no, the whichever ones they were. Um, this is one of the cards I got. And like I said, if you don't think I should have him because he does go for a little bit more than 7,500, the regular version that you're able to sell. If you want me to get rid of those cards, let me know. No, if not, like I said, I'm treating this as a zero value card, so he's going to stay in until you guys tell me otherwise and express your opinions. But yeah, there's TJ Lang right there. Same thing here with Rick Wagner. Same exact thing. Got him for free out of one of those packs from the Journey Solos. So he's going to stay there right now. I'm not a big fan of him, but right tackles, there wasn't really much out there for right tackles on the market. And not Right tackle cards are not that good. Um, we were before this rocking, uh, I think Barnridge was the last time when I updated my team. Uh, but we went ahead and picked up Jordan Cameron and put Zach Ertz behind him. We're probably going to be running a lot of double tight end sets here, guys. Um, these two cards look really damn good. Uh, the run blocking isn't there with these two guys, unfortunately. People know I like to have tight ends that have run block. But, uh, yeah, both these cards are pretty beast, I think, for gold cards. Once again, another one of these cards here. You guys are going to be like, Alex, this isn't a budget card. But, yeah, I know. Journey solo card. But, like I said, I'll change if you guys want me to. Uh, Calvin Johnson is going to be at the 1. At the 2, we're going to have uh, Dante Moncrief picked up. This card is actually pretty nice. I did have Alshon Jeffrey there, but uh, I think Jeffrey's card is a little better, but I want to put him in there and give him a try, see how he does. He's got really good speed. That's the only thing he's better at Jeffrey is the speed. Jeffrey's got like an 80, 
84 speed, I think. 86 speed, 86 speed. But Mockery's got very nice speed at 93. He's got 89 catching. His car is actually really solid. It's only most of these cars I got for like two or three K even. I'm um, going to number three. We're keeping Travis Benjamin in a wide receiver three. I'm not even sure if he goes for 7,500 or less, but I figured he did. It's a go. It's a football outsider gold card, so I'm just assuming. But assumption is the mother of all fuck ups. So <laughs> who knows here, guys? But yeah, we're putting Alshon Jeffrey in at the four, and we got Randall Cobb in at the five. Now the man. Our starting halfback's gonna be most feared Dre Archer. I got I picked up this card for 7K a couple days ago. Um, 97 speed, best running back in the game, hands down right now. Uh, I'm sure that will change soon as more content comes out. Once we start getting Ultimate Legends and the more 99 overall cards, the positional heroes, all that stuff. All that new content's gonna be coming soon. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, little interruption. But, uh, yeah, like I said, Street Arch card is going to be great for a while until all the new content drops. Like I said, Road to Playoff content is going to be dropping within the next day or two. But, uh, yeah, Adrian Peterson right here. Another one of those cards. You know, like I said, let me know if you guys don't want to see these. These actually few beast cards that I got for free. If you want them off because they're not technically budget, budget, but, but like, it's zero value to me. Keep them in. Like, so let me know. I'll change them. Adrian Peterson is going to be a backup. Tony Romo picked him up for 7K just before I started upgrading the team. He was the only good quarterback that I liked that was under 7,500 coins. There's probably a couple more, I think like a gold uh, Mariota. I think I was kind of playing around with thinking about, but I saw this Romo it was the only card under 7,500. So I was like, yeah, hey, we'll try him out. A uh, Hynoski, I know this card goes for like 100, 200K, but free out of a pack. All right, that does it for the offense, guys. And we're going in defense here. Darius Berg, Glover Quinn, these cards go for more than 7,500 coins, I know, but both these are free. Let me know if you guys want to see something different. Sean Lee has never let me down, had him since day one. Uh, Ryan Shazier, um, technically, he does. this card won't have value because you can't sell him or anything, but if you would put his two cards together, I think it'd be about 18,000 coins, that's more, but since the card has no value, once again, I'm not including it. So if you guys want to see someone different at middle linebacker, let me know. I do have uh, Daryl Smith backing him up. Another card that's not below 7,500. So once again, you want to see me replace him with somebody? Just let me know. Um, Anthony Barr, we picked him up. This card is actually really nice. I love this speed. Speed was like one of the main reasons I picked him up. 91 speed. Really, 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 really solid card. Some of his stats aren't that good. He's, I think his uh, play rec? Yeah, his play rec is what kind of upsets me. He's only a 76 play rec. But I fear we could user him, maybe. I'll switch between using him and Shay's ear from time to time. And then we have Morgan Burnett in a strong safety. There wasn't really a lot of strong safeties that uh, tickled my fancy, per se. But yeah, Morgan, Morgan Burnett's going to be our guy of strong safety. Not a lot of budget strong safeties out there that I cared for. I completely overhauled our cornerbacks, Prince Amuka Mar. For those of you that may have known me from my uh, Mad M 25 days, this Road to the Playoffs, Prince Amuka Mar card. I think it was 90 overall card. This was the best cornerback in the game ever for me. Man, we're going to see if that continues. I'd love me some Prince Mookamar. And then we got to Jason McCourty over here. Antonio Camardi. Gang Green had to support my boys. Uh, Robert Quinn, another one of scars. Let me know if you want to get rid of him. Um, I picked up David Harrison for uh, my main defensive tackle. Uh, I'm going to rock this Mean Joe Green for a little bit until his overall drops down. So Mean Joe Green will be our starting defensive tackle. I run a 3-4, guys. So, And then uh, left end, we picked up this, uh, what is it, Willie Hayes? William Hayes. I knew it was, I knew it was Will something. William Hayes. William Hayes actually were really nice. Solid. He's got 94 tackle, 91 block shed, 85 excel, which is, isn't too bad. 82 speed, 89 strength. Really nice. The only problem is that finesse move is a 53. That's what kind of brings this card down. You bump that finesse move up to like a 75. This probably becomes an, about a pretty close to elite card, I think. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it. That's my buddy squad. Like I said, with these elite players I got that don't really have a value in, per se. Go ahead and let me know if you want me to drop them. Bring in some real guys that actually spend coins on under that 7,500 coin card per limit. I just mixed up words, guys, words. But that's going to do it the video. I'm probably going to get a gameplay with this team very short, very soon, guys. Um, expect that to be up soon. But until next time, guys.